Hi, it's Midnight Mule. Where's the camera? That's the camera. Here we go. Start again. Hi, it's Midnight Mule and I'm out for a little walk. Today's a Sunday and this is very close to where I live. Maybe a five minute walk. I just go down past the local pub, which is called the Rising Sun. Perfectly nice pub. I have a very good selection of uh, ales, if that's your what you like. So I'm standing by this body of slow moving water which when I grew up we'd call things like this a stream but other places in Britain it gets called things like a brook or a burn if you're in Scotland a rivulet perhaps in some places there's various different names but anyway it's a perfectly nice little thing to do go out for a little walk and I'm very grateful that I've got nice places very nearby me I thought I would today I want to do a little video about memory. I remember what I was going to talk about memory. So memory is a strange thing. I don't know if it's true for all Aspies, but certainly for me, because it, it, there seems to be two sides of it. On the one hand, people who know me would say I've got an incredibly good memory because of the things I remember. On the other hand, there are times it seems like my memory is rubbish. And I'm sure my wife would agree with that. So for example, if my wife asks me to do something and it's in the near future or even just a few days away, there's a very high chance I'm not going to remember. Even if I'm doing something, she says, oh, when you finish that, can you just X, Y, and Z? I say, oh, yeah, okay. And when I finish it, I've completely forgotten. And it's, I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One, I'm more or less always in deep thought. I'm, even if it looks like I'm not doing anything, I'm... I've got so much going on in my head and if there's something like can you just do this I might not even be concentrating or even thinking about it but another thing is even if I think okay I must do that when I've stopped whatever it was I was doing to start with my head is still full of lots of other things and I'm just working through lots of other things and I just forget but the other side of the memory is I could be in like a meeting at work and they're discussing whatever it is. And then a few years later, somebody asked a question about this conversation. Maybe it wasn't fully minuted. And I can remember what was said, who said what, why they said it, what their arguments were. And so I used to be involved in meetings more than I am now at work, but it used to be sometimes maybe a member of the executive would come and ask and say, look, do you remember why we did so-and-so or why we, such and such decision was taken? And I can, if I was in the meeting, I can remember the reasons why. Also, if it comes to things like general knowledge or quizzes, if I heard something, could have been 30 years ago, not thought of it since, and there's a question about it, it just comes to mind and I can remember it. So it's, it's good and bad. I mean, it's, I think it's, it's worse for other people around me, the fact that I remember these short-term things. And it's probably very frustrating for my wife. But I think it's also very nice that... Uh, I can remember things from a very long time ago and just minutia, just tiny bits of detail I remember and it's incredibly handy but I think the main reason I forget things when I've just been asked even if it's things like tomorrow can you remember when you go to the shop to buy something I might not even remember to go to the shop I'm just so deep in thought all the time so I know shopping is a bad example because you can take a list and what I normally do if I go to the shop, I have to get three or four items. I don't write them down. I just remember the number three or the number four. And I think I need to get four things. And when I'm in the shop, I just need to remember, right, there's four things. What were the four things? And that's enough to bring it to mind. I'm also aware there's lots of different memory tricks that you can do. Uh, I won't go through them now, but there's plenty of, on the internet, different things that work for different people. So yeah, so the reason I thought I'd make this is Something happened yesterday, I can't even remember what it was now, <laughs> where I was asked to do something. Oh, we've got a brown door at the back of our house. And something my wife said to me quite a lot in the recent weeks is you left the back door open again. Because when I go out, I'm so deep in thought of whatever, I don't think to shut the door behind me. It's not a danger from a security point of view because it's around the back of the house. No one's going to see it. And so I need to say, okay, I'll try to remember to shut it. And then next time I just forget to shut it again. It's just little things like this. Uh, in the winter, it's not so bad because it's cold. I would be thinking things like, oh, I need to shut the door because it's going to cost me money. But this time of year, like it's autumn just now, but spring and summer, 
I'm not thinking about the temperature unless it's really hot. And so it just doesn't get done. Anyway, I think that's all I wanted to say. I'm not sure if that's of interest to anyone or not, but I find the whole memory thing fascinating. The fact that some things I can remember having not, nothing been said for years and other things, they're just not important. Something else I can do with memory actually while I'm thinking of it. If there's a film I like that I've, I don't know if I've seen it several times or not, and maybe I'm having trouble sleeping or I'm bored or something, I can just replay the film in my head or parts of the film that I like. And of course, being able to do that also means I can change parts of the film so I don't like it. So I don't actually have to watch a film that I've seen that I like. I'm okay just to run the bits of my head that I like. And that's exactly like watching it for me. So that's another nice memory thing, I guess. And when I've asked my wife about that, she can't do that sort of thing. Or we could be watching a film we saw together 15 years ago. And for her, it's like she's watching a new film because she doesn't remember it. And yet I remember the film, I remember large parts of the dialogue. And of course, for who done it, if you're watching some sort of mystery film, it's a bit silly for me because I remember so much about it. But for her, it's fun because she can watch it and it's like a new experience for her. Anyway, I think that's all I've got to say about that. Um, if I remember, I might put in a few shots from, uh, from what's on around here, around this walk. There's a bridge between here and home where there's some water going under it. And a few years ago, we had lots of rain and it flooded. So if I can find footage for that, I might put that in there. It's good to have like the side coast and river there, isn't it? The bench! Where's the bench? It's, it's, it's covered! Yeah. Oh, there's the bench, yeah. <laughs> it's going to sit on now. it. It's not like you could easily fall into the river without knowing. Because there's floods all the way down. Yeah, you wouldn't know there's a river there, would you? Yeah. <laughs> no idea how interesting that sort of thing is for people. Here we go. This, with 2D pictures like this, as in it's 2D when you're looking at it, you can't appreciate, or it's hard, I think, to appreciate how nice it is here. But like I said, I'm so grateful that I live somewhere where I can just go, just nearly right outside our door. There's nice places to go. So there we go. I hope you're all doing okay and not too bothered by the restrictions. I'm certainly enjoying them. Okay, thanks. Bye.